Mbonani Dumelang and welcome to another episode of Talk Entertainment and Art with me, the anchor, also known as Wetusonke underscore K on Instagram. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if we're new, you're new, not we're new, if you're new. We hope you enjoy the show and please do subscribe. Don't forget to like and not forget to share and comment as well because your comments do go a long way. We are also now available on Spotify, we're available on YouTube, of course, and we're also available on Patreon, which charges about $5 a month, if I'm not mistaken. We're also available on Google Podcast, and I think that's pretty much it. So today we have another guest with us known as Nongi Lelindelo Mabuza. She is the marketing director of Swalibs and she will tell us more about what she does and who she really is. Welcome to the show, Nongile. Hi, we too. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Can you tell us a bit about who you are? Yo, I hate that question. <laughs> um, okay, as you said, um, name is Nongile. But I use Lindelo, Nongile mm-hmm. Lindelo Mabuza. Um, currently studying law at Uniswa fourth mm-hmm. year. And then I also work for Solebs Magazine. I worked as a brand ambassador, marketing director, and live stream host. <laughs> you work as a marketing director, mm-hmm. live stream host, and you're a brand ambassador, yes. and you're a law student on top of that. <laughs> yes. How do you manage all of that? It's a tough one. Um, Okay, as everybody knows, uh, law requires you to read, so I, I have to try and make time and balance. Of course, uh, I feel like with lately with online learning, I've been mm-hmm. able to balance uh, some of the things. You were able to balance the uh, whole marketing and yes. school. Uh-huh. And then, um, but then I've had a few, few downs because... Um, Such as? We've had to pause the night chat live stream mm-hmm. so that we focus on other things. Yeah. But then we're coming back now, so I guess <laughs> we're balancing so, again. You're 21 years old, right? Yes. How does a 21-year-old get to the point of being a marketing director of an entire magazine? Okay, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a funny story, but it is a funny <laughs> story. Um, uh, my, when my sister started the magazine, she mm-hmm. needed uh, someone to help her mm-hmm. without obviously paying because yeah. she's that small. So I, I offered to help her and she, I, I helped with the marketing, the being the face for the magazine mm-hmm. brand ambassador. And then as time went on, I had to earn that position because the magazine Like you no longer had those sister privileges. No, no. I had to start earning that position. Mm-hmm. Which is like, you really did a good job helping me, so I think you fit for the job. So what did you have to do in order for you to earn the position of marketing director? <laughs> did you have to undergo an interview or you had to do an entire round of obstacle courses? When sponsors started coming in, mm-hmm. obviously they started looking at who's doing what yeah. and who's good at it. And then they, 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 they were like, oh, no, she's fine. I think everyone's fine where they are. They're doing a pretty good job. Yeah. And she, she also, she's also part of that process. And she's yeah. like, I think you're also doing a good job. And I also had to now go through that whole CV process. Uh-huh, the submitting. application. And then she had to look through that. And then, yeah. So you had a pretty good portfolio going on. Yes. After all the work I'd done. What campaigns did you work on? Can you name maybe your best? <laughs> There's been a lot. Uh, I think, um, oh, there's a lot. Okay, we had one. It was uh, Charity 360. It ran for quite some time, but mm-hmm. then eventually did not work out because of sponsors. Mm-hmm. And we've had some events. We partnered with um, the Cafe at Computronics. Yeah, um, Cafe 360. Yes, uh-huh. to host um, their markets. We've, yo, we've had a lot. There's a lot. And uh-huh. I can't recall. But yeah, some of those. I think the biggest highlight was the Cafe 361. Mm-hmm. And the recent, most recent was the, is it Jumbo or Jumbo dinner? It was funny Jumbo how dinner. last yes. week we were actually talking about it. That guys, is it Jumbo or Jumbo? <laughs> <laughs> I prefer saying Jumbo dinner, but uh-huh. I heard people say Jumbo dinner. Yes, I think that, was, that also, that was the highlight. Yeah. Because it was our first time. And Mr. Jambo Kumalo had given us the opportunity to be the red carpet host. Of course, okay. it was a few glitches, but we made it. We you made it work. It so my question for you is that considering the fact that, one, you're female, mm-hmm. 
-hmm. Two, you are 21 years old. Your marketing team, how are you able to run that? Yo, I won't even lie and say it's easy. It's hard. Because uh, you do have older colleagues, right? We do. Um, I think the hardest part is most of us are almost the same age. Not 21, but we're in our early 20s. Mm -hmm. So when you approach someone and you're giving them instructions, mm -hmm. they're like, you're the same age as me. But then I think we've sat down and talked about this, that in order to make it, make it work, mm -hmm. there's people above you and you need to... You just need to accept oh, that this yes. is your job position. Yes. Has it affected anything considering the fact that your sister is like the CEO of the magazine and people feeling like, ah, when are you privileged to move as this or like this and like that? How have you been able to maneuver around that? uh okay true i i think <laughs> i think everyone at some point thought of that um like i said everybody earns their position mm -hmm. uh we're all given the same chance equal chance uh sometimes we have meetings and she asks people to um she, since she's a founder she asks people to present ideas on how to make the magazine better so yeah. everyone's afforded the same chance you've come up with an idea like i did with the live stream mm -hmm. then you just earn your place. I really have to put in the same work as everyone else. So you've had to like develop an attitude of knowing and understanding the fact that you put in the work and you deserve the position that you have, regardless of yeah. who your sister is. Yeah. She doesn't treat me like a sister. When it's time to work, it's time to work. So There's no family in business. No family. Tell me about your show. It's called The Night Chat, right? Yes. What is it about? Okay, um, I came up with the concept um, that uh, I noticed that through the magazine, mm -hmm. a lot of people come in and ask for us to interview them, but the problem is there's no space. You okay. can't fit everyone in, and we only release the magazine seasonally. Okay. So, like, like as in, seasonally, as in like summer, yes, winter, okay. Yes, like that. So, you have four releases. How many seasons are there? There are four seasons, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you four. have four releases a year. Yes. Mm -hmm. So most people approach Shalems, and sometimes it's too late for them to mm -hmm. come in and, 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 and get space. Mm -hmm. So I decided that maybe we could make space. If you afforded the chance in the magazine, then you don't get the same chance on the, the show. On the show. So but the show is for the those that didn't get the chance to be in the magazine. Yes. Okay. So if you're on the show, you can't get in the magazine unless... Maybe you have an event, special event that mm -hmm. needs to be in the magazine. So the whole live stream was to afford people the chance and also for um, people to get to know talented Emma Swati, mm -hmm. not only per uh, formally, but also personally, because I've also presented fun questions we ask on the show. Mm -hmm. So it helps people interact with their fans. If yeah. Because <laughs> you're able to join via the live chat, right? Yes. Exactly. And you formulate questions and you can talk to all these other celebrities. Yes. Have you had to deal with, considering, okay, American magazines and South <laughs> African <laughs> magazines, have you had to deal with difficult Swazi celebrities? Yo. <laughs> what is your worst experience? Worst experience is releasing uh wait no i think okay sometimes it, okay there's no really worst worst uh -huh. there's like worse yeah no? because <laughs> sometimes you approach someone with the idea that you want them to be the cover for mm -hmm. the magazine and when you text them you try to reach them on all the platforms they don't get back to you because do you like deal with assistants and like prs in terms of the celebrities, and then you talk to the PR that listen, we'd like the son <laughs> and the son to come for. Okay, we haven't the cover. had that because I think we we get. I think we've had one though. Mm -hmm. We reach out to them personally, so if we have the number, we get them personally. Yeah, but they don't usually refer us. They just say I'll have I'll discuss and then I'll come back to you. Mm -hmm. So we just do that. Uh, worst one, yo, worst one. Actually, worst but one you, was... You don't have to mention names. No, I won't mention uh -huh. names. The worst one, I think, was sometimes you release... Uh, you're on, almost on the verge of releasing because when you market, you're like, we're going to release it on Monday. Mm -hmm. And then the draft maybe comes in the week before, maybe Wednesday. And they're like, take a look at the cover. Mm -hmm. And then we take a look at the cover. We also send it to the cover star as well too. Okay. So, she, so he or she, he or she reviews. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the cover won't be comfortable. Then you have to change. And sometimes the Monday comes and it passes again. So there's that... 
tendency sometimes. You've had that difficulty? Yes. Considering the fact that you are a marketing director, where do you stem your creativity from? Because I think when it comes to marketing, you have to be consistently creative <laughs> and understand that, okay, last time I did this, so this time we need to switch it up. This is where it went well. This is where it did not go so well. How do you work around that? Where do you take your creativity from? I think most of it just comes from following everybody who is from influencers. Yeah. Most of them are in South Africa. Influencers, uh, people who are presenters and i guess that's how you get the idea mostly observing on youtube because yeah. i think that helps a lot you notice what people like the most because the first thing that you have to pay attention to is the eyes yeah people, whatever they see and it's attractive it gets to them so i i, I use that mostly that's what you use yes, mostly mostly <laughs> so and i have a question for you considering that I'd say we're both into media. Mm -hmm. It's just just different aspects of it. And normally media is, well, socially and otherwise, it's what is normally blamed for the mindset that women have <laughs> nowadays. Uh -huh. Do you feel like that's true? It does. What mindset is that? <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you saying it does to? Which one are you saying it does to? I think, okay, there's there's quite a few. There's the trending in the damas. Uh -huh. And then there's the one where people, uh, where females put themselves under unnecessary pressure because they feel like I have to be at this level mm -hmm. to fit in where, uh, to fit into the certain crowd. It's yeah. just a lot that comes with that. And women pressure themselves for nothing. But when you think of it with, the indoor damas trend don't you think it places men at a position where they have to then put pressure on themselves to be something that they're not or do you also <laughs> feel like to a certain degree men should have this and that and that in order to sustain a relationship and keep a woman happy okay uh, most people who know me i always say this I'm not. I'm not big on feminism because I think it's an act, and I feel like you think it's an act. act. I think, think feminism an is an I've act. I've never seen a woman uplift a woman like genuinely. It's like what they say. Ah, chomi It's like, and sometimes it's not even. You just. It's not even pose. genuine. Yes, I, I. I really don't trust that. Okay. Feminism, okay, that maybe is, is some. There some, is. I feel like there is some, but a small but, percentage. Mm -hmm. Maybe what 40 percent 30 percent that are true feminists and then the others just it's an just an act. act it's trending Might so you well. feel like a man should just be whoever he is and be accepted in that way should he not have accomplished certain things in order for him to be fit for a relationship mm -mm. there shouldn't be a standard if you want to accomplish something it shouldn't be because i want to get into a relationship with someone it mm -hmm. should be personal the same way for females I shouldn't have to, oh, now I have to get money, get a weave, so I start dating in this league. Okay, fine. You have a type. I get that. I'm mm -hmm. not against that. But I don't pressure yourself. But what do you think would happen if men had the type that women have? If men wanted a woman who's accomplished, who has a car, her own house, and who's able to give him money, do you think it would change the whole thing? <laughs> that's a tough one i think it would mm -hmm. i think but it might be the encouragement that some women need most women don't want to do anything anymore because okay. of the indoor damas true i also feel like we have come to a point where it's just relaxing exactly. i'm not going to start a business i'm not going to get my own car Ukona mm -hmm. baby, utang sengele modo. Exactly. Utang kaleli business. Exactly. No banga bagang kaleli business. He's going to give me girlfriend allowance. Why should I have extra income if my boyfriend gives me money? It changes the whole thing of a relationship. Must be okay. Okay, men are probably gonna disagree. Not equals as such, but then I don't think we can be, ever be but, equals in yes, a relationship. At some point, but I don't think you it, shouldn't be expecting someone to support you. When they were not there, what was happening in your life? <laughs> okay, that, that is a very good point. <laughs> when they were not there, what was happening? Because you have to support yourself. Mm -hmm. But then in the event that he needs me to support him, <laughs> what then? 
Because it seems like men complain when it's us wanting um, support from them. But when they need support, it's not so much of a problem suddenly. I don't know. It's just I, most men have the mentality. I think the ones, the ones that need supporting, it's, it's just that most of them have a mentality that they can do it. They just want to okay, do it. I feel they never really depend on you that much. But it's just that, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like men, to a certain degree, feel emasculated by receiving women from money from a woman. There's that mentality. They feel emasculated. They don't have the courage to come up and say, la, 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 baby, I think it's a... Go for the fifty rand. Says the mobile. It also comes with the endotamas thing. It just makes it worse. It makes it worse. But how? How does it make it worse? Endotamas provide. Now, when the endotamas coming to you, I f- it changes. Pela, how? He's how would providing. you react if to... your boyfriend were to come up to you asking for money? I'm a lingani. <laughs> he comes asking for the money that you would ask for like, how would you react would you see him the same way would you feel like he's still the provider that you want to spend the rest of your life with if he comes up to you and asks you for money make a plan make who a must plan. make a plan him i will oh i, make a plan. <laughs> I thought you wanted him like, to, make to the a extent plan. where i can of course mm-hmm. i will make a plan. but it does not change the way that you look at him it doesn't I don't feel like it does. I don't. It's because I, I, I'm, I'm not a firm believer that you must provide. I want to do everything myself. You want to be an independent woman? <laughs> yes. Do you feel like that? Doesn't that lessen your chances of being in a stable relationship? We'll make it work. Balance it How? <laughs> because by, by virtue of you being an independent woman, to some degree, you are more or less dominant. How are you going to be with a man? Because that's their opinion. They feel like if you're a woman, I've I've recently been told that I am too opinionated. I can't be in a relationship because mm-hmm. I'm too opinionated. So you can imagine the kind of mindset I'm going to have once I'm well accomplished. Because <laughs> accompli- accomplishing things doesn't make you any less of who you are. Instead, mm-hmm. it gravitates you to a better level. You only become more independent and more opinionated. How are you going to make that work if you're a self-accomplished woman? <laughs> okay, at some point, okay, there will be days when he will provide. But most of the time, I'd like to, if I need to do my hair, I'll just pop up with my hair done because I can do it. There's nails. On some days, he's allowed to spoil me. That's I, w- I won't stop that. Then but what if you find yourself a primitive man? A man who feels like if you want to wear something specific, he needs to approve of it. If you are going to use money, he should approve of it. Lepo, yeah, it's your money. Point. You earn more than him, but it doesn't change that he is the man. How, are you going, how would you deal with that? I think it also counts on... Not gravitating around, finding yourself in a position like that. How? Because it's not like <laughs> it's not like <laughs> primitive men are not loving, they're not romantic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there are all those that. things that are going to capture yes. our eyes. However, if he's a man that wants to be able to work through your finances, mm-hmm. that's just who he is. He wants you to tell him. Um, when you are going to wear something, maybe you want to wear a skirt and he wants you to come and approve, to get, receive his approval to wear that skirt. How are you going to do that? That's a tough if one. If you have cars, no <laughs> <laughs> that's a tough one. I don't, I don't. Because I'm asking you this because judging from the conversation that we've had, mm-hmm. you seem to be a woman that wants to stand on her own. You want to be independent. You want to accomplish mm-hmm. so much. And the fact that at 21, you are a marketing director, it puts you at a powerful position. If you <laughs> carry that power with you only to greater heights, how are you going to manage a relationship? <laughs> we'll work it out. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, I stand at this opinion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you don't feel, do you feel like people are threatened by you, men especially? I've had one guy say that <laughs> I I wouldn't be in a relationship with you because I feel like 
I don't know. He, what did he say? You do more. I, I really don't. I didn't understand it, but I've had someone say that. He felt intimidated by yes. you. Yes. Yes. How did that make you feel? Did you not feel like he's the weak <laughs> one? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. No. No, I really did not. But did that push you to try and change who you are? No. I continued. I continued being who I was. And you still felt like, you know what, it's fine. Even if he felt like that, Shakti, he's just not the person for me. Mm. Shouldn't you be uplifting me instead Then of if I want a man <laughs> that is well accomplished and the one that's coming after me is not, isn't it okay for me to feel like, no, then he's just not the one for me? Okay, that's, <laughs> that's a good argument. You are allowed to feel like that. Mm-hmm. Without people judging me, would you know what? You're just materialistic. You're just this. If you're just that, if I'm buying hair to look a certain way or attract a certain type of man, should I not feel okay when the man that I'm attracting is not in my league? Why should I then be yeah, labeled as materialistic? <laughs> Why should I then be labeled as guangatsi? No, I don't want to use this term. It's too, <laughs> it's too harsh. But you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I understand. And as a woman, how do you, th- what would be your advice to men of our age? Because I feel like boys in our 20s are under a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure to be something that they're not and push themselves to limits that they may not be able to reach right now. The late bloomers. I don't have advice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like, okay, I feel like you should, if, if you're still someone who's trying to make themselves better, mm-hmm. find your feet. In a way, you might also have to find someone who's sort of somewhere there. At least, or at least someone who has that kind of mindset, who understands. Who understands. You're finding your feet. And you're not going to stay there. It's yeah. important that you don't stay there. You're finding your feet, but you don't stay where you are. You push yourself. Yes. Because the issue is when you don't <laughs> want to push yourself. Mm-hmm. And you get too comfortable. Exactly. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's tricky. I feel like it's tricky because boys, I I believe they do have the tendency of being comfortable in whatever space they're in, until they feel the urge to get up and do something. That's why it's important that before you get into the relationship, you come with that urge, so you <laughs> you just continue. Uh, it's it's I th- I think okay me personally, I wouldn't mind meeting someone who's still in the stage of understanding themselves. Okay, fine. It's 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 it's, it's a little chaotic mm-hmm. because if me so get the understander, I know what I want and I'm ambitious, and here you are, not in a space of trying to understand yourself and what you want and what you don't want. Uh, there's going to be a clash. To okay, a certain degree, there's going to be a clash. Mm-hmm. You're going to feel intimidated by me. You're going to feel inferior. And yet you want to be superior as a man. And maybe a part of me will feel a little superior because I know what I want. You get that? I understand. However, I, understand. I feel there is beauty in being a woman who uplifts the person that you're with. Each and every day, trying to just bring back Leo motivation. The bigger nayo. Because I pay the lima. Why there's that there is a certain beauty in it but then you know the thing is they live yes I've seen, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've also seen that argument that he's with you now yeah and then when he's there when he's you'll there find his time. they live then why do you blame women for not have for her wanting certain men why blame them I don't I don't know I think I think my biggest motivation behind this mindset is mostly behind gender-based violence. I felt like it was too focused on women being the one. So that's why now I've got this whole thing that not women aren't always the good guys. And Okay, true. Sure, women are manipulative. Yes. Women very. are manipulative. Some <laughs> women are, <laughs> some women are manipulative. Um, and I get the point that you're making that the whole gender-based violence thing was actually pointed out to one side as if men don't actually face that 
and it, it, it kind of sucks. I was reading a story actually on the paper not so long ago. There was a man, a young boy who was married to a 47 year old female, right? Mm -hmm. And this man, this boy rather, was in shambles because his wife would abuse him sexually. She would abuse him physically because apparently mm -hmm. she didn't tell him before they got married that they, she had four kids. He found out after being married. <laughs> 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 Honestly, this is not <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Not but, yeah, I understand the logo. <laughs> like, it's really... Like, it's, it's serious. Like, it's an actual thing. Yes, I understand. And he couldn't even talk about it. His mother was speaking on his behalf. That Yati, my son, has faced so much mm -hmm. in this marriage. This woman would make him do strange sexual things. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that came to my mind was maybe bondage type of sex. <laughs> you know? And uh -huh. he felt he couldn't report that because, one, this woman works in the correctional services, if I'm not mistaken. She would always threaten him that, listen, if you do this, I'm going to kill you and your family. Mm -hmm. And the police first laughed at him when he went to report this. Yes. Lapo, this woman is threatening his life and his family's life. And she hid that she has four children and making him do weird sexual things. On top of that, mm -hmm. this man has faced so much trauma. He couldn't even speak to the reporters. His mom was speaking on his behalf. And I felt like that story was supposed to be something that people take in and understand that men really do go through this. Exactly. Now that you're mentioning it, I feel like females have taken advantage of the fact that is that not men mustn't cry. Men shouldn't should be shouldn't talk about things like that. Like mm -hmm. when you're desperate, you don't express that. You just it's just a you thing. And then I feel like women have taken advantage of that, and that's where the indota must has come from men don't talk when they're at the lowest point. They don't because they feel like. You see it as them being weak. Mm -hmm. And now females have taken advantage of that. Do you feel like men can actually be um, abused sexually? A grown man? It happens. <laughs> How? I feel like it does. Do you, do, you think, do you think it comes down to consent the same way it does with women? Because <laughs> with women it's always, no, if she didn't consent, Vele, it's rape. Mm -hmm. But people feel like, you know what, just because a man, because men just generally have erections, he wanted to, even though he didn't consent to. The same way female. <laughs> I don't know if I the same, okay, no. There's, the same way females, we've talked about this. Mm -hmm. We've talked about how the, the female private part naturally just. Duplicate yeah. you're being raped. It doesn't mean you want to. Because that's the thing. They also say that, you know what? No, she was actually lubricated, so she wanted it's this. It's a fair argument. It balances both sides. It happens to them. It happens to It doesn't mean you wanted to. The fact <laughs> that I did not say, listen, we can do this, yes. just means that you're raping exactly. me. Exactly. It's a fair argument. It's just that people don't want to look at it. It's themselves. the argument that we don't want to talk about. We don't want because to talk about Because we know that it happens often. Because I feel like as women... We do... Hey, why am I saying we? Like, I'm a part of... <laughs> <laughs> You're a female. Like, uh, but I think I'm speaking collectively as females. Mm -hmm. Goguzi comes back to me saying that we're manipulative. And we seduce men. We seduce men. We lie to them. We give them the wrong idea of who we are and what we want. Only to get what we want. How is that not exploitation? <laughs> How is that I've not using happen, a man? So. Because... We're We're just like, no... This, I can report it to the police that when uh, you did this, you took me out and then you bought me drinks and then now you want to sleep with me. It's wrong. But if I take a man out and I buy him drinks and then after that I seduce him and he goes to report it, they laugh at him. Yo, there's an argument I want to start, but then, yo, it's going to start. <laughs> it's going to start a lot of things. I feel like uh, there's also this one. There's been, uh, there's an argument on Facebook about mm -hmm. how Females leave their homes. For example, you go chill at Solanis. Mm -hmm. Don't have money. You're chilling. What are you doing there? No, I know that someone to buy for yeah, you. I know that when I'm at Solanis and, and I look good, someone is going to see me and they're going to want to buy me a drink. 
I'm not saying that uh, men are entitled to sleep with women after buying them drinks. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, sometimes women put themselves in that position. Why do you leave home with no money? You're going to chill at the bar. And uh, an uh, older guy comes to you, he buys you and your friends drinks. Obviously, that statement of nothing is for free then applies. You put yourself in. I'm not saying rape is fine. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. But you, you put you put walk yourself, straight into walk that. Straight, what did you expect? Things like this happen. Not that he was supposed to rape you, but you also might have. You might have given him the impression that, that you after wanted the drinks, this. We'll go somewhere as well. I feel like the tricky part is that. I think it's so easy for them to bring it down to consent mm -hmm. because I've, I've seen people actually justify that by saying, I didn't ask him to buy me drinks. He offered and I said, yes, but he did not <laughs> ask me for sex. So he raped me. I've seen people justifying it like that. However, I do feel also like we're grown and we read in between yes. the lines. Exactly. If I'm, we don't really, we're not specific about everything. But if I were to say touch you in a certain way, you'd get the vibe that okay, she likes me. And Ganja, this is communicating. Is that not consent? Exactly. And I'm sure between that whole buying you drinks, there's flirting happening, and you allow it to happen. Yeah, but yeah, entertain. So because really, there exactly. is that. Yeah, entertain us how to see gan Sometimes <laughs> even the first one to stand up, go to the bar, order something, come back, and you expect him to pay. Exactly. I didn't ask him to buy him drinks. He offered. But usugumi le nao wa yo odi. Beane henis to buta shala pass. And yeah, yeah, actually, henis to when you can't afford it. Henis ya we are doing. Like, color today. And then here you are, not expecting this man to want sex from you. Exactly. I think it, it all comes down to addicting. As women, we need to know how to handle ourselves. There's because, a that goes fine, around. being a woman, so you get a lot of free things. Mm -hmm. But I think we need to understand that it's not really free. It's not. It's not really free because, one, the fact that this person will ask for your number after giving you that, mm -hmm. it's a transaction. You're going to flirt. You're going to entertain him because you know that the next time you go out, he's going to cover you. Exactly. And he will cover you the next time you go out. And after covering you, the next time he goes, you go out, he's going to want something else. And then Mr. Sin Min, he didn't ask me. Knowing very well that we did those things that anyone would do that lead up to sex. But then you we see? cry. Then exactly. we cry wolf. You see? Then we cry wolf. <laughs> but if problem. men were to do that, sin. Hi. Ooh, weak. I got setting on. Exactly. Because that's what boys say yes. to each other. That's what boys say to each other. I've had, I don't know if it says it's a privilege, but I'm actually getting shit. I've heard men talk to each other. That's what they say. We are in, in, They actually encourage each other to not stand their own ground but just to have sex and let it pass. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I also know. feel like men on their own don't correct each other. They put themselves, they put each other in those positions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I'm wrong. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But I feel like mm -hmm. a lot happens in Mm -hmm. And me and maybe I'm a sensitive guy. Yeah, bo ni sensitive in jangetivu sleeping with women, even if I don't want to, I have to entertain a woman. Yes. For the sake of good imagita. True. <laughs> yeah, I understand mm -hmm. So I feel like once we put ourselves or men or women putting yourself in a position where you are going to have to compromise your standards automatically you should know because I shouldn't be here. It just, it, I just, I think the simplest advice for women would be, I, I think, me and you personally, my biggest motivation is, <laughs> would be, I want to, I want to, you want to get soft life from me first. Before you get it from Before someone else. Before I get it from someone else. 
if I'm going to drink Hennessy for the first time, I want it to be because I bought it. And not because a man not bought because it for you. I bought it. Someone else bought it for me. Someone else but the lane. Okay, fine, maybe. That's how to contribute. Okay, that's fine. It makes mm, sense. Just fuck about hundred tries in ten. <laughs> yes, it's fine. I yeah. really don't mind. But what if someone's gonna go and have a night? So when living pete, just my phone. We are saying I ain't. Doesn't it make you uncomfortable, what if? How? But I think it's really sad <laughs> how it's the youngest of um, ages that feel like no, mine. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to get into what happened. <laughs> but being such a I feel it's really sad how it's the youngest of ages that feel like, you know what, I can leave home with nothing, but I do know that wherever I'm going to go, I'm going to have whatever it is that I want. Because it's just because in my hips, I have to say that 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 Yeah, Yeah, that's that's the sad thing. It is the younger kids, the younger women that feel like, you know what, it's okay to exploit men. Mm -hmm. It's okay to um, see yourself as an object. It's okay for you to use what you have to get what you want. Mm -hmm. Because that's the mentality they have. But you know what? No, 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 that I have to do to get what I want. And if me, and I'm going to wear a mini skirt because I have nice thighs, I'll do it. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to wear a mini skirt. And, and, day, and, 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 and okay. they use that, they feel like that's empowerment. They feel like the fact that you're able to set the tone for yourself and accomplish that tone automatically means it's accomplished. Using yeah, someone else's weakest point. Using advantage. someone else's weak Coming back to the manipulation. Yes. Coming back to the manipulation. <laughs> I think it's because uh, I, I, I think I know it because I've seen it from female to female. Mm-hmm. So now, from outside the box, female also do this tendency. I am shy. I am I am Yeah. That's true. I think that's also the same as what I was mentioning about boys earlier. They encourage each other. Yes. It comes back to that. encourage At the end of the day, I think, see, see, dependent on the man dependent on these genders are dependent on each other but not in the good way like um, i don't know how to explain this uh females mm-hmm. want a man to provide more than he should be there's some parts like but now anyway, logo came with e urbanization did it no, initially men did, did it, everything. Oh, but it's not phones. It's, 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 it's not phones. It's <laughs> it. peer pressure. Like the woman's job was to have kids and take care of the home, mm-hmm. and it was the man's job to bring the bread home. Bread, not iPhone. <laughs> 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 okay, fine, but the single time the times have changed. They want a significant for the Um, but if meaning it's you know. I, I'm going to be a housewife. It's fine. I'll take care of the home. I'll take care of the kids, and I'll take care of you. Uh huh. Well, then what's wrong if I want you to be the provider? Hey, let's be honest, though. <laughs> I, I, okay, let's be honest. Even housewives, modern housewives, is it is it Joe Berg or Deb, Darren? I think that's I think they're their side all, hustles. Yeah, they're brand ambassadors to something. They get paid for something. They they, have they work from maybe. home. They do, but they have something. They just want to sit, do nothing. And Money offer sex. Yes, ufunaje boni in contact. But what are you doing besides? Okay, I get the now. Call now. Since it's modern now, there's a maid in the house as well. When are you just make sure the kids are home? Homework's done. Food is ready. Food is ready. Yeah, boy. 
I think <laughs> I am jealous, Sophie. Sophie, prepare meals. They're not date night lunch. Yeah, you're not doing the work. It's just. I feel like this conversation is. It's deep. It's deep, <laughs> and it it it's it, it. I feel like it runs a really long mile because difference is such a social media lit. And social media is something that is car- like consistently growing. Cause it's kind of like one of I think in one of our episodes we were mentioned we were talking about the social media awards, and my question was what is it that I have to do in order to be ranked the most popular Facebook female? Exactly. Because Facebook Mendele in mean, is it not because I want to be friends with Nongil? Not because yeah. I want to gain popularity. Yeah, boy, like it. yeah, well, it comes back to that. We will see the fact that we're being pushed to look a certain way and to feel a certain way about ourselves is one of the reasons why. No, yeah, understand. And that's the reasons why, it's one of the reasons why people don't understand that life is not linear. Relationships are not linear, nor are exactly. mindsets. We are constantly evolving. Your nature, your band, mm-hmm. That is just how we are. We constantly evolve and we understand life differently and through experiences. Mm-hmm. But social media, I don't my experiences. I don't social media. If I had unnecessary pressure. And considering that you are part of a magazine, <laughs> how, do you, how do you guys try and make sure that you don't endorse that? I... <laughs> because that could also be a platform that you guys use to endorse lauma behaviors but how do you guys try and minimize that kind of thought trail yeah we recently had a not recently it happened i think last year we wanted to start a section in the magazine the mm-hmm. hearts now you'd submit your song uh, yeah, pal, you just comment on our Facebook. Oh, I'm um, longing the Shabela the song, mm-hmm. and then you get people to like that comment. Now the list is gonna be based on the person with the most likes, mm-hmm. but then that doesn't work because it's not the hot anymore. Because I okay, it might have the most likes, but sometimes now to like, but it's not worth it. Yeah, to be let's be honest. There's some artists you listen to and you're like, ah, but bum, bum, mm. so I think it helped Roguti because I say Indy anymore and we just accept anyone who comes through. So you feel like that experience showed you guys that yeah, due to social media, popularity can be deceiving. It really was because Nasa's discuss a lot of people were like, okay, number one is this one. Number two. So basically, I'm not going to my likes. Yes, exactly. I'm not really talented. Mm-hmm. Then how do you deal with that? Because the song number one. We had to pull out. The list was based on the likes. We yeah. had to take it out. But after some time, after talking about it, realized that you no, know, might be. Mm-hmm. And then stopped for a while. Yeah, it's like it's and then you allowed it anyone and everyone to bring forth whatever yes. it is that they I think had. That's how we... Stop the, in, the pressure, unnecessary pressure. Mm-hmm. You come to, you just simply DM us, oh, please, interview Salem's magazine. Mm-hmm. It's not even that major. Go to we research, um, body went down, you know, we shall speak. Oh, you just upcoming. So you, the only thing that could probably be, be de- debatable is the cover. Because really, <laughs> the then way, yeah, because yes, you want someone point, that people know. We talk about it. Good, we have to have someone who's upcoming. Labanga matigu cover. Because that's the same way you get people to like the magazine. How? Shala SP gibenga matilon. But anyway, let me download. Oh, shala SP gib unyangin bonu ya repa. So I'm fine magazine. You read True. the magazine. It's just simple. Because each time, nanga faga the popular people. So we're, go, gonna, we're, we're going to get tired. You're gonna, same, you're gonna get the same audience, and you won't reach the people you wanna reach. I love that. Anymore. Same I love people, that. and it gets boring. It really gets it gets boring for us as a team. Go see how see I do see obvious one and doubt and low. There's mm-hmm. nothing new, and the ma target market it just stays the same. Mm-hmm. Six hundred downloads. You already know Bobandeva downloading. 
Gani, you put someone they don't know, it's like 800. Because those people work hard to make sure that you guys read the magazine. Mm. magazine. It's like 800. It also, now we get pusher, not to see a target market works both ways. I think I love Leo Mindset Leo because it's kind of like what we stand for here on T Podcast. Because we want, it's exactly what it is, Vela. We want to bring to people the people that they don't know. The people exactly. that they would not expect. Mm-hmm. But the social media wants to focus on a certain type of people That's and just stay, <laughs> stick to that and not give everyone a fair chance because there's so much talent that people do not know of in this country. And the sad part is some people don't even show their talent because they know what see. They're focused on just a certain, <laughs> a um, certain group of um, people. Yes. A certain group of people so i think i, I really think that's love why that. the arts industry isn't developing people that should be developing once nothing more than that i think people were complaining about the swamas but see the swamas we never see anyone new Always Bangla man nominees that's now. exactly that was, that, that was like my that. argument <laughs> in my social media awards but we'll see go predictable it is predictable because it's not like we don't know who um, is like the busiest on Instagram or anything like exactly. that. But still, I am saying that I'm not throwing any shade to the social media <laughs> awards. It is beautiful, beautiful. I'm not throwing any shade. However, I am bringing forth the fact that the people that are not there, there's, there's just so much to think about. There's so much to think about. It's always a focused group. It is always a focus group, well, one way or the other. This time. Exactly. It's mm-hmm. as if you can predict it. It's like award and I look award. We are both kind of like someone was talking about how apparently they were nominated mm-hmm. for the social media awards, and um, she was telling me that, in as much as I am grateful for this nomination, I already know who's going to win. Exactly. That's why I'm not even going to ask you guys to vote. What do you do with that? I think. Okay, let's be honest. The 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 jumbo dinner, whatever they pronounce it as, <laughs> it might have opened those doors. I think I was also happy because when I was interviewing some people and I met some people there, begging a body. So it opened. Bonga body like it. I know what. Oh, ngati this one sings this one, but ang ang body that much. Mm-hmm. I've heard them from people, never met them, never seen their face, even on social media. But like Jambo Kumalo helped open that door because mm-hmm. people were nominated there. I think Logutinje people were able to push themselves, and we are going to say, Oh, Jambo, um, I work as a, an artist, I yeah, because Nancy, you can Zilla. talk to yes. him personally. Yes, I think my nominations began again, and sometimes Usho mm-hmm. or so it helps in a way. I think it's really nice to know that according to my platforms, Lamanya, apart from us, that actually want to recognize underground artists and enjoy talent mm-hmm. in the country without having us to first focus on the other people. Because to a certain level, you that means you are just ordinary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you're just ordinary you're not like these ones but it's just and be done just so i think that is i love what you guys do i think it's really beautiful and it's something that you guys should continue doing and you should continue doing you because i think it's very inspirational to know what would see there's a 21 year old long director that's that and who is a woman on top of that that is very big and that is very empowering thank you so much for being on the show with me today it was fun talking to you Thank you so, so much to our viewers. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Mwah.